Welcome to the Takademi series, part five. We're going to talk about 32nd notes, 64th notes, and tuplets. Or triplets and tuplets, I guess, is the way we'll probably end up doing it. All right, this one's going to be a little different than the other ones. I'm going to briefly just mention 32nd note and 64th notes. I'm going to tell you... Um, 99% of my playing, I do not see either one of these, especially 64th notes. If you're like a marching band drummer, things like that, you'll definitely see these. A flute player or a string, like a violin player, you, you'll probably see some 32nd notes. But honestly, overall, most of the time, everything goes up to 16th notes. But I did just want to briefly mention 32nd notes and 64th notes just to explain how you can count them. This is where the system kind of builds out a little bit and gets just a little bit different, but it still works just fine. And you'll see the trend that's going on here. So if you get even further rhythms, let's say things get really crazy and see 128th notes or 256th notes, you can use this system to kind of fill in the gaps for those things. But I did just want to briefly go into it. I'm not going to play them. I will play through the uh, the eighth note triplets, the quintuplets, and the quarter note triplets. But some of these things, it's just here to explain it so you can see how it fits in. If Again, you're not supposed to come to this video until you have become proficient up to part through part four. So if you're really comfortable up through part four, this will make sense in how it goes together. So if you do have to play it, you'll see what you need to do. So you got 32nd notes right here, and you'll notice 8th notes only had one beam, 16th notes had two beams, 32nd notes have three beams, and if you look here on the right, 64th notes have four beams, and you can keep going from here. 128th notes will have five beams, 256th notes will have six beams, 512th notes will have seven beams. Yes, they do exist. I kind of think it's like a billion dollars. Probably not something most people have ever seen in their lives, but it does exist. This is where things get a little crazy. To say 30-second notes. So all these notes in the 30-second note that are grouped together are said within one beat. And what you're going to say is Takadimi Takajuno. Takadimi Takajuno. Takadimi Takajuno Ta. Takadimi Takajuno Ta. 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 Ta, takademi takajuno ta, takademi takajuno ta. That's all there is to it. Now, a lot easier to say it than to sometimes play it, but that's what you'll say. Takademi takajuno ta, takademi. You've got the first grouping of four. Takajuno is that second grouping of four. So when you put them together, it does kind of roll off the tongue fairly easy. Takademi takajuno ta, and it's a group of eighth notes. Sorry, it's a group of eight notes, not eighth notes. It's a group of eight notes. Because if when we look over here to 64th notes, you're going to see it's two groupings of eight notes. We're just going to take this a little step further. You're just going to say takademi takajuno really fast two times. Takademi takajuno, takademi takajuno, ta. Takademi takajuno, takademi takajuno, ta. So really fast. I I couldn't even say them fast enough. I probably, if I practice it enough, I could actually say it quick enough. But that at least gets you an idea of what you need to say to be able to play those things. So 32nd notes and 64th notes are breakdowns of takademi takajuno and takademi takajuno, takademi takajuno. Down to line two now, eighth note triplets. You say takida. And you see them, they're grouped together with one beam because they're eighth notes. And there's a little three written over them, which makes it turn into an eighth note triplet. And you say ta ki da. Now, what you want to be really careful is don't group them like this. Ta ki da ta. Ta ki di ta. Sorry. Ta ki da ta. 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 Don't group them. They're got to be evenly spaced. Taki da ta, taki da ta, taki da ta, not taki da ta, da 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 da, da 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 da, taki da ta. So if this is my beat, taki da ta, 
Taki da ta. Taki da ta. Taki da ta. Taki da ta. And if I play them, one, two, ready, go. Ta, taki da ta. 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 And if I switch over and do it on trumpet, two, ready, go. Now, the real famous rhythm you hear this from, as you know with my backdrop, if you watched many of my videos, I have a ton of Star Wars stuff behind me. You hear this in Star Wars all the time. Bum. So you hear the triplets all over again, and please excuse the singing, but triplets are all over the place. It's something you will very, very commonly see. So it's ta ki da ta. Remember again, don't don't group them like that. They need to be evenly spaced. Taki da ta, taki da ta, taki da ta, taki da ta. Doesn't matter how fast or slow they are, they need to be evenly spaced. So that is line two, eighth note triplets. So now we're going to jump down to line three, which is quintuplets. Quintuplets are groups of five. So what you say for these ones is taka di mi ti ta. Sorry, I threw the ta in there at the end. Taka di mi ti. Taka di mi ti. Taka di mi ti. Again, the ta is the beat. Ta, 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 ta. Taka di mi ti 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 ta. Taka di mi ti. One, two, ready, go. Ta, taka di mi ti ta. 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 So that is quintuplets. Takadimi ti ta. Takadimi ti. Takadimi ti. Takadimi ti. So now we're going to jump down to line four with septuplets. Now I'm going to warn you right now. These are not notes, again, I see very often. It's nothing I have done with any of my students. So this saying just does not roll off my tongue. Like even quintuplets I don't do with my kids, but it does roll off the tongue a little bit easier. This is the one where I start tripping up a little bit just because it's not one I use all the time. If I, it was something I came across a lot, I know I'd get this to roll off the tongue. But for septuplets, you say, you say, ta va ki di da mi ti. Ta va ki di da mi ti. Ta va ki di da mi ti. Ta va ki di da mi ti is what you say for septuplets. And again, that group of seven happens over one beat. Ta va ki di da mi ti. Tava ki di da mi ti ta. Ta vi ti ki da mi ti ta. So that is the septuplet. Again, I don't. I just want to at least raise your awareness of how you would say it. So if you ever do come across a septuplet, you know what you need to say for it. All right, let's jump down to the final line. Line five, quarter note triplets. Now, quarter note triplets are kind of funky. So what you're going to notice in this measure is I've got five notes. And over the last three quarter notes in each measure, there is a, there, there's a little beam there with a three in the middle. That means those three note, quarter notes together are a quarter note triplet. Now, quarter note triplets happens over two beats. So they're going to be two tempo, two metronome beats for every three notes. And what you say is ta-da-ki, ta-da-ki. So if this is my rhythm... Ta 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 da ki ta 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 da ki ta ta di ta da ki ta ta di ta da ki. So it has a very weird feel. So let me just say a bunch of them in a row so you can try to get that feel. Ta da ki ta da ki ta da ki ta da ki. Ta da ki ta da ki. Now let me do it on trumpet. So I'm going to play line five on trumpet. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Qu 
quarter note triplets just take a little practice to get the feel. Once you do them a bit and get that feel for that three against two, because it's three notes happening over two beats, ta, da, ki, 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 ta, da, ki. And the key is to keep them equal, not ta, da, ki, ta, da, ki. Ta da key. None of them after the first one happens on the beat. Ta da key. Ta da key. If you notice, the ta is the only one that happens on the beat. And if you notice in that saying, ta da key, the only ta is the very first one. So the quarter note triplets, again, it's another common one. I see this all the time in my music along with the triplets. These are two that you really, really want to become very comfortable with. But the quarter note triplets just takes a little bit of time to get that feel down of that three against two. So this one was a little bit shorter. It's kind of going into some more advanced things. As I mentioned, a lot of these things are stuff you're not going to see very often. The 32nd and the 64th notes, the quintuplets and the septuplets. It's not stuff I really come across often in my music. If I was going to have to say I saw any of those three or four things, which one do I see the most often? I would probably say the quint tuplets. I definitely see the eighth note triplets, and I definitely see quarter note triplets quite frequently. And even in my students' music at school, we see maybe not the quarter note triplets very often, but eighth note triplets are something that do come up fairly frequently, so you really do want to get comfortable with those. So that wraps up Takadimi Part 5. Again, you don't need to become proficient at playing the things on this page aside from the eighth note triplets and the quarter note triplets, but at least understand what's on the page. We're kind of getting to the point now where it's more so do you understand these things, at least how they work, so when you do see them in your music, you can sit down and figure it out. It may take a little bit of time of kind of, you know, as we call it in the biz, wood shedding your parts a little bit. That means sitting down and really just kind of going through it, slowing it down, figuring out how the rhythms sound until you get to the point where you can play it. That's more so what this lesson's more about is just making you understand if you do see these things, how do you play them and how do you use the Takadimi system to figure it out. Otherwise, I will see you on part six.